All right, so now that we have done a dihybrid cross, what I want to do is show you how to do a shortcut, okay? We are going to do the same cross and ask the same questions, only instead of completing this dihybrid cross, I'm gonna show you how to do it um, a different way to get the same results, okay? So basically what you're going to do is you're gonna look at each of the um, parents and each, or I'm sorry, each allele individually. Okay, so if we take um, just the G allele here, or the, the allele for seed color, and we say, okay, one parent is big G, little G, and another one is big G, little G. Well, you're basically just going to do a regular old um, Punnett square for that because now it is a monohybrid cross. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing for the other allele. You're going to say, okay, this one is big R, little r, this one's big R, little r. We're going to do another cross. Okay, so now that you've treated them separately, now you got to look at each of the different um, Punnett squares. So this first one asked us what are the chances that your the offspring are going to be homozygous dominant okay so that would mean that it would need to be big g big g big r big r okay so let's look at the r or the g's first so in this case you need to have um big g big g so there's only one out of the four there that has that probability and then the same is true for the r one out of four. And so what you're going to do now is you're just going to multiply. So one sixteenth probability of having a homozygous dominant. And that's exactly what we figured out over here. Okay. And you didn't have to do the whole, the whole big cross. Now, if we want to look at the probability of having a yellow and a round one, we're going to do the same thing. So again, yellow, yellow, we'd be looking for uh, little g, little g, and then also what are the probability of being round, which would be r, r, or r, little r, okay? So of these four, only one um, out of the four would be yellow. So again, this would be one-fourth. And over here, though, if we are looking at which ones would be round, it is these three. So in this case, it'd be three out of four. Okay, so three times one is three. Four times four is sixteenths. So three sixteenths chance of being yellow round. Well, again, that is what we figured out here. Three sixteenths chance of being round. Okay, so that's how you can do, you can shorten it up. Um, if you had a cross between something that was A, little a, B, little b, C, little c, D, little d, and one between A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, you could do the exact same thing, only in this case you would have one, two, three, four Punnett squares, and then you would multiply all four fractions together. Okay, so you can really simplify finding probabilities when you have really a lot of alleles to look at. Okay, so hopefully this helps shorten things up. Bye.